Hello everybody, this is Mackerel Phones. The next game that I wanted to play is, uh, going to be a, uh, maze game. Specifically, a p certain uh, Pac-Man game. But first, I decided I'd go retro and play one of the oldest maze games there is, Heian Kyo Alien. Originally released in 1979, I don't really know that there's any definitive evidence that this influenced Pac-Man, but it seems pretty likely it did. This, however, is the Game Boy version with enhanced graphics. And you can play the original one, though, if you select Old, but I'm going to select New. Y you know, this is actually the, um, uh, original Japanese release of the game. It's a really nice-looking box, just beautiful with this, uh, sort of Ukeoe-style illustration of one of the aliens, and there's a nice manual, and it's, it's just a really good-looking box. This was also released in the States, but I don't believe there's any difference between the Japanese and American versions. Anyway, l let's get started then, shall we? Alright. Come on, dig the hole, dig the hole! Alright. In this game, the player controls... Oh, he escaped the hole. Uh, I'm doing very poorly. In this video game, the player takes on the role of a policeman in Heian-kyo, which was the capital of Japan during the Heian period. It's still there, but today it's called Kyoto. Come on, guys, go in the hole! Ah, they're not going into the hole. No, they are! You see... We're using, armed with only a shovel, we have to try to, um, uh... Okay, the hell is on, really on my tail. Oh, we got him, we got him, though. Oh. Armed with only a shovel, we have to try and repel the alien invasion. Before we get too far here, though, I should probably mention, I don't think that I'm necessarily going to actually, uh, finish this. I mean, not to say that I wouldn't, you know, want to, but it strikes me as pretty possible that uh, I'm instead going to just get a game over. So what I think I'm going to do... Okay. So what I think I'm going to do is uh, keep playing until I get three game overs or maybe finish the game. No telling which one is going to happen first. As for what these strange structures are with the swirls on them, I don't know. They look magical, though. Alright. Where do you suppose the rest of the police force of the uh, capital is right now? I mean, surely there's more than just this one man with a shovel who's available to fight the aliens, right? Okay, okay. Dig, 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 dig. Okay, no. It's, um, man, this game is a lot harder than I expected it to be. But I'm sure you could get the hang of it after a while and become a real champ. What the? They can walk on those things! Well, we got eaten. You know, these aliens don't strike me as terribly technologically advanced. Okay. That was real close. You gotta hit the correct button, the button that lets you dig the hole instead of... No! B bury him! Bury him! Bury him! What you, why didn't you bury him? You fool! Now they're gonna eat you! You know, you'd think that if these aliens were invading Earth, they would have brought some kind of weapon other than their teeth. I mean, I guess... I mean, th don't get me wrong, their teeth seem to be serving them pretty well. And everyone's, you know, quite ter- What? You see, I, I- Actually, wait, do they not all res- Okay, okay, I think I might have a chance here, because I don't think all of the enemies respawn when you lose a life. 
Which is not what I initially thought was going on. Alright, we have a moment of, of rest. As long as that, you know, structure above us there stays shut. Okay. This is a pretty brutal way of dealing with the aliens, though, isn't it? Burying them alive. It's, it's just, it's very grisly. Or would be if it weren't for the adorable cartoon art style. Also, you may have caught earlier that this is a graphically enhanced version. This is a game of such vintage that the Game Boy version is the version with enhanced graphics. Okay, quick, quick, dig the hole! No! You, you gotta dig a hole. You gotta... Whatever, whatever. just dig, dig a hole right here. Okay, um... Why isn't he digging the hole? Oh, it's because I was pressing the wrong button. Yeah, I, I, I think that this... That, that, that the city could be in better hands. Anyway, I suppose this alien invasion is such a minor historical event that it didn't even enter into the Japanese historical record. Yeah, you can't go this way. It's one of those games where even though clearly we're behind the tree, it registers it as like a wall. This is pretty good music. I didn't quite finish burying it, though. And now I'm going to regret it. I really do feel a need, though, to remark that really is a nice soundtrack. I believe this game was released in the U.S. by the same company that, um, uh released Zombie Nation. Games involving traditional Japanese things combined with aliens. I, I guess both this and Zombie Nation have that in common. Come on, you alien. Walk into one of my traps. Oh, this is pretty fun. People really, this was really quite popular. Back in its day. Look at all those little statues of Buddhas. Am I gonna regret putting this here? Probably. Hey, get, get in the hole, please. Please, please get in the hole. Get, please, pl could you? Thank you! Okay, okay, now we're- this is bad, though. Aha! No, it's not. It's not so bad at all, after all. You dig a hole here? Man, this really captures the, um, uh, struggle that, the, you know, this man's- this man's crisis as he's trying to, you, you know, bury it- uh, well, he got eaten. And so the aliens took over Heian-kyo. Well, that's why Japan is famous for being weird and having such a distinctive culture. It's because of the aliens. Also, look at that burning character on the hill there. I forget what holiday that's associated with. I think it's a holiday. Man, so the aliens are even invading on a holiday. What a bunch of bad sports. Okay, so that was uh, attempt number one. This time I'm going to buckle down a bit. I suppose that this must be the, uh, downtown part of... of Heian-kyo. All the people are hiding in their houses out of, uh, out of terror of, uh, of the aliens. Quite understandable terror, I might add. Quick! We probably already lost the chance to seal the hole. But we didn't. There's just one left. One man, armed with a shovel. In feudal era Jap- Actually, this isn't feudal Japan quite yet. Feudal Japan comes more with the, uh, rise of the samurai class. After the Heian period. Yes, it's the Heian period, the Kamakura period. Wait, is this the same map? I think it might be. 
you think I would have noticed that before, though. Like, the first time I was playing through these levels. Oh, well, it's fine. Same map is fine. It lets us be introduced to this new enemy. In a familiar environment. What the? How to get out? Okay, they really capture the sense of... Uh, of crisis as the city is being attacked by these aliens. I, re I really do feel pretty desperate to... To dig these holes and not let the, uh... And not let the aliens kill me. This is as much about my own survival as the city's. Oh, five lives! So that's how many you get in total. You get five lives, huh? Is there any way you can get more lives? Or is it just a march to your death? Well, it's not a march to your death. There is a goal here. There is an ending. It doesn't just go on forever. I know it looks like it's one of the games that might, but no, this one does have an ending. Oh, crap. Um... Okay, I know we're not quite safe in here, but... Oh, no! No, 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 we're gonna, we're gonna... Okay, good, good. Quick, dig. There's another alien just right there, just a block away. Man, I, I just, I mean, I'm always interested in these video games that are set in, like, historical Japan. Even if, I'm pretty sure, there was never actually an alien invasion. I'm sure there are some people who believe there was, though. There are people who believe anything. I believe it was Isaac Asimov who once said that there is no idea so stupid that someone wouldn't be willing to fight to the death over it. I wonder why these aliens came here, just to eat people? Why do you suppose the aliens have come to Earth? Is it just to eat people? That seems like a pretty silly reason to come all this way. Maybe they're, um, uh, those aliens from Echo the Dolphin, and they're low on food. They I mean, they come every few hundred years, right? So this must be one of their, uh, arrivals. Yeah. It's set in the same con- Oh no! Okay, okay, okay. For a second I thought we were pretty, pretty much screwed. But we weren't. Okay, get in the ho- oh, Alright! It might be a very violent way of taking them out, but it is a, you know, struggle of life or death here. Probably make more sense just to kind of stab them with the shovel, though, wouldn't it? I don't know, perhaps the shovels of Heian, of the Heian period were a little different from the shovels that I, uh, would think of today, which have the sharp, you know, like, spade, like, the blade part of them. Okay, okay. No, no! I get it. The other aliens can free their, you know, comrades from the holes we dig. I see. Interesting. I mean, it makes sense, I mean, you know, why, why wouldn't they be? I don't know why the aliens look so different, though. You know, it occurs to me that, like Pac-Man, not only is this kind of a maze, but the enemies in this one- Oh, crap! Um, but the enemies in this one eat us like Pac-Man eats the ghosts. A coincidence? Probably. Okay, okay. Dig, 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 dig. Okay, we're not gonna dig it in time. Man, I didn't expect this to be quite such a high-stakes action adventure. Bury, 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 bury them. Being buried alive is a very bad way to go. I'm always amazed when you hear accounts of people being buried alive. I mean, it's just unbelievable. How could you stand to do that to someone, you know? You know, this is, an a this is actually a very short game. I might actually be able to get through it. I mean, I'm doing pretty well so far. Bury the carrot alien man. All right. This really was a pretty big, a crazy hit back when it came out in the uh, 70s. I mean, that's an old video game. Okay, so he's back here now, huh? Well, we'll uh, take care of him. Actually, getting the aliens to come back here, although it's more dangerous for us, is probably one of our best strategies. 
Because once they're back here on this narrow path, it's inevitable that they're going to walk under the hole. See? Like this one here is about to. Man, this is a pretty lousy first contact. It's still probably going better than the first contact in, say, Half-Life. But that doesn't mean it's going well. Okay, did Barry bury him? We did it. I wonder what kind of guy this policeman is. Oh, wait, what? I like this game better all the time. Dig, 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 dig. No, 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 no. We gotta get them in the hole. Even though they're probably just gonna be freed by their comrades immediately. No, 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 no. Oh, crap! What, how did I, what happened there? I get the metal spots we can't dig on. That makes enough sense. Because they're metal. You know, they're made of metal. Makes sense you can't dig on spots that are made of metal. Because they're, after all, made of metal. Oh no! Oh no! Okay, okay. That was close. That was a very close one. We're not... We're not dead. We're not... We are dead yet. Wow, look at that. Look at that. Look at the policeman's terrified face. What do you suppose his motive is? I mean, other than just staying alive, obviously. Uh, oh. Oh, we can pause it. Gives you a chance to listen to the good music anyway. Man, the, the difficulty's really up and fast. Perhaps when I said I could get through it, I spoke too soon. Alright. We're gonna be safe here for a second. Or not. It's not good to have no way out. Um, okay. Dig, 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 dig. Okay. Dig, 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 don't dig, don't dig, bury, bury, do the opposite of digging. Okay. Dig, there we go. We're safe on this side of town for like a few seconds. It'll give us a chance to build up our whole defenses. You know, personally, I think this game is pretty, uh, amazing. <laughs> oh, man. Really, the whole thing is pretty amazing. <laughs> oh, oh, man, oh. I wish I could make some pun out of, you know, Heian-kyo, but I don't really know how to. If I remember the, uh, tale of Genji correctly, they never actually uh, called the city Kyoto in it, or Heian-kyo, I mean. They only ever call it the capital. I wonder why. Was it like, I mean, in those days, it was apparently impolite among, you know, the upper classes to actually, uh, you know, address people by their real names. So maybe it's something to do with that. Maybe it's like the same deal with the city among these refined, snobby, upper class folks who are way into aesthetics and things. Or maybe not. I don't really know much about, uh, about the Heian period. I remember actually, since we're playing as a policeman, I did read a book once where they went into a lot of detail about the functioning of the uh, police in Heian-kyo in those days. I really wish I remembered it. It was pretty interesting, I thought. Oh! Oh! You got him, we got him! Okay, no, 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 no! Okay, okay, get out, get out of here. Get away from these bozos. Dig, dig, dig. Alright. We just have to wait for him to come to us. It's never... Oh, it actually might come to us. I'm sure if I left this running long enough, it would. But why would I do that? That'd be silly. I don't want to just sit here doing nothing. Hey, hey, buddy. Buddy. You want to come on over here? Come on, man. Stop by. I'm right. Oh, crap. Dig, 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 dig. Oh, wait, no, 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 no. Good, good, no. No need for cursing our fate. Maybe the policeman wants to save his family. I can't really guess his age by looking at him. He could be 40, he could be 16. Well, really, I don't know what age you had to be to be in the police in those days. So I I'm really just making these numbers up. Like, maybe you couldn't be in the police when you were 16. Maybe you had to have so many years of experience first. Probably not, though. 
Oh, bury it, bury it, bury it, bury it. Wait, why, that time, why didn't his comrades help him out? They're not very good comrades, are they? Nah, they're kinda jerks. Oh, crap. Um, you know, they must be kinda jerks if they're just willing to eat a person. That's a pretty brutal way to, you know, do Oh, crap. Bury, 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 bury. Okay, not only did we bury it, but we escaped from the alien that was about to kill us. Not this time, though. Er, oh, yeah. Yeah. You know, I guess I could try riding that pan that's floating in the river, couldn't I? Also, it would appear that my contrary belief that, you know, my er my earlier belief that, um, uh, you know, that the enemies did not respawn if you got a game over was all wrong. Or not get a game over, I mean, if you lost a life. We have to save the city. We have to save Hank. That's what we're going to do. We're going to bury all the all of the alien invaders alive. All of them. Not a single one of them will be left unburied. Okay, how are we going to... Nah, no, this fella... There's so many of them is the problem. Once I... There, there's so many of them. If only there were not so many of them. Which is what we're working on. We're working on making there be a lot fewer of them. Specifically, zero of them. Once there's zero of them, the city will be saved and we will not be under threat by aliens constantly. We can get back to fighting, you know, our fellow Japanese instead. Which is, you know, it's a... Oh, no. Oh, oh, no! I can go this way. I forgot. All right, guys, come on. <laughs> what are you waiting for? Bring it! I got my traps ready for you. You have to be really stupid just to walk right into the hole, though. It's another reason I expect these aliens are not very intelligent. Oh, come on. Well, I, I, got, I got a lot farther that time. Maybe next time I'll get all the way to the ending. That music really is awesome. Even if I'm not good at it, I do think this is a fine addition to my collection. Oh, come on, man. Already they're freeing their comrades. You see, this is manageable, because there are only three of them. Once you get as many as we had before, that's when you begin running into trouble. What? That's another one of the issues with these aliens, is they're very good at, you know, throwing dirt back into the holes that we've worked so hard to dig. Where that one behind me is about to escape. That's fine, though. No, 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 no! Come on. I know you want to come over here, you aliens. The policemen holed up in a few square blocks of Hayen Kyo finds himself desperately digging holes in order to trap the aliens in them. Maybe we're not even a policeman. Maybe we're just like a farmer. That's why we're so good at digging. Wouldn't it be ironic that those snooty Hayan aristocrats ended up being saved by us, by a peasant? It's like that bit in like a... Do you remember some passage in the pillow book where um, uh, Say Shonagone ends up making... Some very bitter, mean remarks about a, uh, poor peasant guy who is like house burned down or something, and who came to them asking for help. And not mean remarks because the guy seemed like a jerk. I mean, maybe he was a jerk, but he does, sure doesn't come that way, you know, come, come off that way in her description. It sounds more like 
It sounds more like he was just a peasant who wasn't, like, good at, you know, speaking- Oh, come on! There's a big pixel blur flicker pile there, sort of dirty looking. Okay. I suppose that even when we're buried back here, or I suppose that even when we're ensconced back here, there is some risk of an alien coming in freeing his fellow as uh, we saw just a moment ago. The aliens are so hungry that just standing on the other side of the hole makes for an enticing trap. Because they see us and they're like, man, I could sure go for some of that guy's flesh. We have a pretty winning strategy here, at least. But I'm pretty sure we are a policeman, though. In that book that I read about the, um, uh... They talk so much about the sort of bureaucratic... Uh, admin you know, the organization of the, uh... Hay and Era police force in the capital. I remember there were, like, all these different titles and, uh... You know, some bureaucratic inefficiencies, like... If there was one... Uh, there was one department that was the department that could get, uh evidence, but even if they found evidence that they needed to act on, they weren't allowed to, like, you know, go out and act on it. They had to, uh, you know, confer that to a different department whose job it was to make the arrests. The whole result was a needlessly complicated system that probably, you know, that probably didn't work about as often as, as it worked by the sounds of things. Well, that's not true. I, maybe I'm just making things up. I don't remember it that clearly. Oh, right into the hole. This is a good street where we're where where we are right now. Come on, come on. There we go. Hey. You wanna, wanna come over here? You wanna come over here? You wanna come over here? No, 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 no! Okay, I don't know why the alien didn't just kill me when it had the chance, but uh, I think it was a very foolish thing for it to for it to do is to not kill me. I mean, I mean, I'm glad it didn't. I'm grateful it didn't kill me. But you know, it could have walked on that open tile right there. It chose this fate. What I wouldn't give for a level select. Okay. Really, there really is a lot I wouldn't give for a level select. Like a significant amount of money. Uh, anything that's important to me. Ah, so close. Okay. We'll dig a hole right there. We'll dig a hole right here. Hey, you wanna, wanna come over, over, over here, buddy? Yeah, just, just there's a hole right here. Don't, don't worry about the. No, come on, just don't. He, he did. He, he was too smart for me. Just kidding. He, he was dumb. So is this one? This one of those games where it's not long, but it is challenging. And uh, as there is the challenging, you know, ends up making it kinda become longer. Like it takes a while to get a hang of the game's systems and be able to. Uh, you know, really, uh, go through it all the way. I probably will not get through it with three tries, I guess, but I am going, I am, you know, I'm going to do my best. Maybe you, you won't get to see the ending of this policeman's epic saga, of the Shovelman saga. You know, in the right hands, this could maybe be made into a pretty entertaining, like, anime or something. <laughs> okay. Okay, okay, we're going to be over here, we're going to dig a hole right here, first of all, is what we're going to do. First of all, I mean, it's gotta get dig, 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 dig. Oh crap! Okay, um, don't want him. It's not just us whose life is on the line here; it's the whole city's. Because no other soldier who's more qualified to do this, because they've like a sword or something, for example, that'd be very helpful. But we don't have a sword. All we have is a shovel. No! Why do? That is a terrified face, if ever I've seen one. I really do like these graphics, though. I think they're very charming in their uh, in their simplicity. That's one of the things I like about the uh, Game Boy. They have so little to work with, and well, at least occasionally, a game comes along that you know 
make so much of what little they have to work with anyway. Take Link's Awakening, for example. In my estimation, Link's Awakening is, on all fronts, just probably about the best, all-around best Game Boy game. Oh, crap. Okay. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no! That's the thing about the holes, they also trap you. They might trap your enemies, but they can leave you in a corner, too. Okay. Okay, hey, hey, you wanna come down here? Go, 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 go! Okay, I was very close. Very, very close. They're beginning to take advantage of these tiles, I can't help but feel like. It's almost like it's one of those games that gets more intelligent, you know, along with you. It's probably not one of those games, though. I mean, let's be honest here. Let's be realistic. Let's be serious. Hey. It's interesting that the tile closed while we were still on it. I didn't know they could do that. Hey, wanna come over here? Wanna come over here, buddy? Wanna co come come down here? Come come over for 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 a for a walk? Wanna come on, buddy? How you doing, carrot head man? I mean, it's like a turnip or something more than a carrot, I guess. Oh, you're you're back here. Well, I know exactly which hole you're going to go in. Oh, come on, just go in the if you go in the hole. If you go in the hole, I'll I mean I'll kill you. I can't really promise you anything different than that. But you know you, you know this. You know what the score is here. It does have something to gain, though, because if I don't- if I don't act quickly enough when it's in that hole, it can get out and, you know, eat me. Now, we're almost to the first cutscene, aren't we? It's like those intermission, you know, in Pac-Man. So that- oh, oh no, oh. Well, it's good while it lasted. But anyway, that, I guess that's where Pac-Man got the idea, or Toru Iwatani, rather, got the idea for the, uh, you know, little- comical intermissions in Pac-Man. Probably some of the earliest cutscenes, aren't they? Probably. Dig one up here just to just to be safe. It served me well, this hole I dug up here, didn't it? The answer, by the way, is, uh, yes. Oh, I thought that that carrot man would come up here, but instead he... he didn't. Oh, well. Come on, guys, wanna... You know, some, if somebody happens to bump into, stumble into this hole, I mean, these aliens are walking around pretty erratically. Oh, no. Oh, no! Okay, no, 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 it's not that bad. It's not, it's not as bad as I thought. Hey. Dig, 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 dig. Or, not nah, do the opposite of dig. Bury. I really do like this graphical style. It's very charming, much like the beautiful artwork that's included in the instruction booklet on the box and stuff. It's very... it's just a really well-designed box. That's actually, of course, something you see a lot, is that, uh, video games will have very attractive box art in Japan, but not in, uh, the U.S. I don't know, maybe the Japanese market has a better taste in box art. Of course, occasionally you see exceptions to that rule. Come on, just come. Oh, I kind of—I should have expected no. And of course, now it's gonna go into the hole. Oh, well, oh no no, dig a hole here 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 dig the hole. Come on, just dig. Why aren't you digging the holes? Just dig them. Okay. No 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 no. Well... I suppose that's it. I suppose that's the end. Oh no, I said I'd just do it three times, but I want to show you what the old one looks like, even if I probably don't want to play all the way through it. This is, I might add, is an excellent facsimile of, uh, the 1971 game. Frankly, I th already think it's more difficult. It doesn't feel nearly as, like, fluid. The controls don't. Oh! You have to make them... The holes in this one go four times rather than three times. You know, three, three button presses. Yeah, this is definitely harder. It's not just less appealing looking. Wow. This... Well, I mean, what do you expect from... What do you expect from... 
79. I think it was 79. Did I say 71 earlier? Well, I mean, you gotta start somewhere. You gotta start somewhere. This has been Mackerel Phones, everybody. Nah, JK, you think I would go without showing you guys the ending? Here, I'll go get it from a World of Long Plays. World of Long Plays really is an impressive channel, I think. It's like a... You know, what they want it to be is like an almost a museum of video game playthroughs. Often done with an eye towards showing off everything the game has and... Not in a... You know, not, not in the typical, like, let me just rush through here like I'm some blithe idiot style gameplay. But like actually going through it. Now, of course, there's going to be a lot that we, uh, don't get to see in their whopping 20-minute, uh, uh, which was, or long play, I guess, uh, which was done by a Iron Sharp. So, credit goes to Iron Sharp for getting to the ending here. Man, this guy really is good. He has his whole thing handled. Anyway, that's, those were the last aliens. Oh. The aliens reeling from the, their defeat at the hands of the police officer take off. I'm not sure if it exploded or if it just teleported away. And life returns to normal in Hei and Kyo. The policeman rejoices seeing his fellow humans return to their livelihoods. I suppose that's some sort of monkeys uh, just passed there. This is really interesting seeing this 8-bit graphic versions of, you know, affairs in, uh, in Hei and Kyo. But what's this? The end? Or is it? Anyway, perhaps that was unearned, but, uh... That's Hei and Kyo Alien, everybody. It's a pretty interesting game, and I recommend checking it out, because it is pretty darn fun. And the Japanese box art is just... It's just beautiful, just really excellently packaged. Anyway, see you around. And next time... Or, you know, next Let's Play, anyway. We'll, uh... We'll, we'll see what Pac-Man game I have in store for us.